Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. This is Dr. O'Connor. We're asked to use the lattice enthalpy and solution enthalpy, or heat of solution, in order to calculate the heat of hydration for the ions in sodium acetate. So for the sodium ions and acetate ions. And what we're doing is dissolving sodium acetate into water. Recall that solvation is the process of surrounding a solute particle with the solvent particles. So when the solvent is water, we call this hydration. We know that the enthalpy of solution, or the heat of solution, is equal to the enthalpy of separating the solute particles plus the enthalpy that's needed to separate the solvent particles and then the enthalpy of mixing. So as far as the separation of solute particles from one another, this is an endothermic step because it requires energy separating solvent particles from one another is also endothermic. Again, it's going to require energy in order to overcome the attractions between the solute particles. And then, when the solute and solvent particles mix to form the solution, you have different particles that are coming together that are attracted to each other. So this part here is exothermic. The overall process uh, depending on the solute and solvent can either be exothermic or endothermic. So let's go back to what we have here. We have the solvent enthalpy and mixing enthalpies. Determining each one of these individually is difficult. So what we do is we combine them and together they're equal to the enthalpy change for solvation. What we have is delta H for the solution equals delta H for the solute plus, again we'll combine these two terms here and we will combine that into the heat of hydration. Again, remember that's because the solvent is water. So delta H hydration. Okay. Now for dissolving ionic solids, the heat of hydration is very important. And recall last semester in general chemistry one that this term here, again, that's the enthalpy change for separating the solute particles, that is the lattice energy. So I can rewrite this to include the lattice enthalpy plus the heat of hydration. So now I think we're ready to do our problem. We're given the lattice energy and we're given the heat of solution. So the enthalpy of hydration is going to be equal to the heat of solution minus the lattice enthalpy change. So we're all set to go here. So H for hydration is going to be equal to, let's see, the heat of solution is 17.3 kilojoules per mole minus 763 kilojoules per mole for the lattice enthalpy. And that is going to give us negative 746 kilojoules per mole. 
So now we're asked which ion contributes more to the heat of hydration. Well, remember, we have oops, sodium ions plus acetate ions. Now, the sodium ion is much smaller than the acetate ion. So, therefore, the sodium ion is going to contribute more to the heat of hydration because of its smaller size. Remember, the smaller the ion, the larger the charge density.